Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy shift reading for my dearest Leos. Leo, we have Jupiter moving into Aries the month of May, and this is going to last until May 2023. This transit is big and bold and undoubtedly one of the most important of the year. This is Aries energy and opportunities supercharged. This is the beginning of a whole new chapter in your life. And Jupiter, the planet of luck and expansion, will be moving into the fiery skies of Aries. So get ready to charge forward, guided and protected by Jupiter's optimistic, hopeful, generous, and compassionate nature. And also get ready to step up and take the lead in making your dreams come true. All right, my dear Leos, if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what messages come through, please, for my dearest Leos, for this Jupiter in Aries transit. Clear messages and guidance, please, for my Leos, for this Jupiter in Aries transit. All right, your energy is the star, Aquarius energy. Challenges, the Knight of Swords. The whole reading this the whole reason this reading is going down princess of pentacles yeah my leos you guys are absolutely ready to take a leap of faith into a new sort of healthy direction queen of cups in reverse in your past on your mind we have the two of pentacles so still trying to make a decision here Ooh, look at you. Strength card coming out. So your energy coming into alignment, being bold, taking charge, taking the lead. Your energy, five of pentacles in reverse, stepping it up when it comes to career finances or just sort of, I'm getting an energy here of not being so alone anymore or feeling like you've got to do it all on your own. Seven of wands in the exterior or coming towards you. Six of Wands in the emotional body. Leo, you're ready for victory. And the final outcome, Four of Cups. Yeah, you're not going to let this new chapter, new relationship, new opportunity, new job, new you pass you by. Oh, hell no, Leo. <laughs> Excuse my language there, but that's the way it's coming through. All right, and we see the King of Cups in reverse. So we do see the King of cups showing up here. I was going to say, oh, and the, and the queen of cups both showing up in reverse here. So this is very interesting energy. So some of my Leos, this is about sort of maybe the breakdown, the separation of a relationship, maybe with a water sign, maybe you have water in your chart. Um, but it feels like this is something that's already happened in the past. It's something that gave you, that really turned you upside down um, there may have been a lot of distorted feminine energy that you had to sort of purge and release or maybe that you were dealing with. And distorted feminine energy is interesting with the Five of Pentacles energy coming out for you because there was a, a period of time, Leo, where maybe you weren't feeling like you were good enough or you were feeling alone. Um, I'm also getting there may have been a bit of a blocked uh, crown chakra. And when, when that happens, we can see boredom and discontent, but that's also being turned around. Um, it can also be about like endless drama in your life and feeling confused about the way forward. So what I love about what I'm seeing here, Leo, is that is not going to be a part of your life anymore. Like this transit is really pushing you towards success, helping you make some difficult decisions. Um, I just love that. So let's let's take a look and see what else comes through before we start clarifying. So clear messages and guidance, please, for my Leos regarding this Jupiter and Aries transit, please dynamic. So the frequency of dynamic supports our ability to harmonize between layers and aspects of different origin and frequency. It helps us to put together a reality that is made up of many different elements, both familiar and completely new, with ease, grace, and great joy. Yeah, absolutely. And I love this sort of this energy of ascension with dynamic. So it's like you're definitely doing things differently. Some of my Leos, you're traveling, you're starting new jobs, there's a new relationship coming your way. You're ready for this because you're ready, because you're in alignment here with the strength card or you're coming into alignment. 
Allowance, absolutely. The frequency of allowance invites us to be open to whatever comes our way without judgment, without opinion, without fear, and without resistance. When we allow, the universe becomes our partner in the wondrous dance of existence and expansion. Beautiful. So some of my Leos, if this really resonates with you as far as like a love relationship, I'm seeing that you're leaving behind like a really strong soulmate contract here with the King and the Queen of Cups. There may have been a lot of drama or it was just something that was very emotionally difficult for you to move through. And I'm kind of getting this energy of like the judgment card. So like you're up leveling, um, but you're also calling in people and, and whether it's a love relationship or it's a new job, something that isn't what you're expecting. It differs from your usual type and your usual expectations, but it's going to be just so perfect for you, Leo. So let's keep going. One more, please. Or sorry, two more for my Leo. So allow this to unfold. The universe has got your back. Um, I love that you're in the star energy because it feels like you've really healed from this breakup or this separation. And I have to tell you, Leos, I started this reading for you and the first card out was the lover's card in reverse. And this being Mercury retrograde, I'm pretty much having to do every reading I do like two or three times because there's some sort of like weird gaffe or foible or mistake or interruption. Um, so this one's no exception. And I did really get that for a lot of you, this is about leaving behind a particular relationship. But it can be a business partnership. It can be, it can also be a behavior pattern of yours, but it feels like there's a very deep healing that's taking place and you're just so open to these new opportunities. And this Jupiter and Aries energy is really helping you like lean into that. And we see communication. So number 14, temperance energy. So be patient. Healing is taking place. But frequency of communication supports our ability to exchange information in many different forms. It reminds us to run every piece of information, both incoming and outgoing, through our heart, the center of our truth, to stay in the flow of source and balanced exchange. Yeah, and that's that's exactly what this is. Um, because in the mental body here, my Leos, you definitely are feeling this lack of balance or reciprocity. It's about making this decision about where you're going to invest your time, your energy, your love, your money, your resources. And it looks like there's a past situation that you're no longer going to be doing that. And it's taking a lot of strength and courage to cut away from it. But it's also like there's this new opportunity coming to you that you're just not going to let pass you by. And, and I feel like it's just so unexpected. It's so different than anything you've ever done. Yeah, look at that change. Wow. The frequency of change supports our ability to gracefully dance with the forever changing nature of reality, both inward and outward, so that we can appreciate the sweet release and the old and the birth of the new. Absolutely. And this is that beautiful energy of transmutation, Leo. So you're recognizing, you know, I needed to go through whatever this is that you're leaving behind to really fully embrace and appreciate and enjoy the new fill in the blanks that's coming to you. For some of you, it's, you know, it is a divine counterpart situation. It's a soulmate. For others, it's a job. I'm, I'm picking up on a strong move for some of my Leos as well. So I don't know if you're thinking about, you know, changing cities or moving, you know, from the city to the country or vice versa. Um, or you're thinking about moving, you know, states or countries. It's, it's a beautiful energy. And I'm, I'm very excited for you and for this change. Um, so let's get in and clarify. So you're the star energy, Aquarius. This is a deep healing. This is also telling me that you're manifesting this Leo. And Aquarius being your opposite sign. For me, that's a big sign coming through in, in the Leo reading. Especially right next to the strength card. That for a lot of you, this absolutely is about soulmates. The princess of swords. So we have the princess and the princess. Sorry, the princess of swords and pentacles which tells me you're ready even if you might feel a little bit nervous leo about you know do i have all my i's dotted and all of my t's crossed you are ready i also hear there's a lot of eyes on you leo and you're coming out of the cold with the five of pentacles you're healing someone or something made you feel like you weren't good enough and you may have believed that for like a short period of time or maybe forever you know for long up until this 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 transit shift maybe you were believing that but I feel like you're just really purging and releasing any of those sort of hungry ghosts, any of that energy of lack. And I love this. And some of my Leos too, with the six of wands here, a lot of you are going to be reaching some sort of fame 
or recognition in whatever it is that you're doing. Okay, so it could be that you're just getting a lot of attention, um, but it feels really positive. And so what's challenging or influencing this is the Knight of Swords. Leo, you're seeing clearly. There's something emotionally that maybe you were holding on to. And like I said, I feel that it's either a fear-based energy, an energy of lack, that that someone or something made you feel like you weren't good enough. And I feel some of my Leos, like I said, you started to believe it. And with this Knight of Swords, it's about cutting away from that energy, cutting away from people and situations that aren't in alignment with you. Yeah, Queen of Swords, there we go. This could be something that even goes back to childhood. Some of you, I'm hearing you may be healing a mother wound as well. Um, but the Queen of Swords energy in reverse, this is really distorted feminine energy when we anchor ourselves in hurt, heartache, and disappointment, and it doesn't allow us to move forward. So you've been through something really, really harsh, even nasty, Nine of Cups, but you're calling in your wish fulfillment. You're ready. And I love the Nine of Cups because it's Jupiter and Pisces energy, and we're moving out of that. And so I feel like this Jupiter and Aries energy is just going to catapult and supercharge my Leos into this sort of new, higher vibrational timeline. At the base of this reading, like the whole the whole reason this reading is going down, the Princess of Pentacles, because you're ready. You're ready for this healthy new beginning. The Ace of Swords in reverse and the Princess of Cups. Yeah, what I love about this is you may not be able to see exactly how things are going to unfold. You may only see one, two, maybe three steps ahead. But the Ace of Swords in reverse tells me that it's time. You're starting to talk to yourself differently. You're starting to communicate differently. And with this Princess of Swords, she's got a real, I'm sorry, Princess of Cups, she's got a really, really big cup there. She's got a lot to offer. My Leos, you know that. But there is a little bit of self-doubt that creeps in and, and it feels, Leo, like somebody said something to you. I don't know if it was in your childhood or it was a relationship that you were in for a long time. It created some sort of energy block. It created some sort of negative energy that's it, that was embedded in your nervous system or in your you know, in your energetic field. And this is what you're purging and releasing so that you can make this decision, make this change and step into your full power. So we have in the past, the queen of cups energy in reverse and the nine of pentacles and the queen of pentacles. Wow. So there are a lot of people showing up in your reading, Leo. So this tells me that there, you may have been dealing with a group of people, um, regardless of what this is that you've been going through that has really marked your your history, your past, your recent past, it feels like there were a lot of people weighing in on, you know, what you should and shouldn't do. Um, but what I love about the Nine of Pentacles is, Leos, you're ready. You know that you were meant to be, you know, self-made. And I feel with the Queen of Pentacles, you really have worked hard on healing and finding balance. And one thing that I, I noticed and I didn't say anything is also we have this Princess of Cups energy and she's holding that big giant cup with a turtle in it. This has been a long time coming, but you've been making those really healthy shifts and these healthy changes. Um, and you're ready. Queen of Pentacles energy. You are ready to start this business. You're ready to call in this divine counterpart. You're ready to start this course of study. Um, it's just, it's a beautiful energy. Whatever you're fixing to do, Leos, wow. In the mental body, the decision has already been made. I think you have clarity as to what is your wish fulfillment. Don't let anything that anybody ever told you um, make you believe otherwise, okay? And so we see the Fool card in reverse, Aries energy, and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, and this is what I'm seeing here. I feel my Leos, you're overcoming an energy of feeling foolish for chasing your dreams or to make these changes because I do feel there's something here. Like you, some of you are like, you know what? People told me I was really, like I was stupid for doing this. Or people told me I must be crazy if I did, you know, if I started this business or I left this relationship or I made this move. Like some of you, you're, you know, you're up and going to live in the beach or on the beach or you're going to live off the grid or you're moving to a totally different country where you don't know anybody. Um, some of you, you've started some sort of, you know, channel social media platform. And I feel like there's a lot of people weighing in on this, Leo, but what I love about this Knight of Swords, he's slaying those beasts. He's slaying those demons with the Fool card in reverse. This is also about not rushing into things, making sure that you are aware and prepared, Leo, but the Fool card in reverse is telling me that you're like slaying that that energy or the naysayers or that, you know, the demons within that are telling you you're not ready or don't do this. You definitely are stepping out of your comfort zone and, and that's exactly what you're supposed to be doing. That's what this transit is all about if you're a Leo or not. 
So we see the ju the judgment card in reverse. So my Leos, you're stepping into your power. You're leaving a lower vibrational timeline or group of people or relationship behind. Um, the decision has already been made and the five of swords, yep, because you're healing. And because you're healing and transforming, you're no longer gonna ascribe to that previous version of yourself or you're no longer gonna believe the things that people told you that quite frankly, for many of you just weren't true. And it was more of a reflection of their fear-based thinking or how they felt about themselves. Or maybe there was a person or a group of people or a situation that really benefited from keeping you, you know, keeping you where you were. And that's just no longer a reality here. So your energy, Leo, five of pentacles in reverse, you're building your own stability. It's like many of my Leos, you may, you may have been feeling like you just were you know, even in a crowded group of people, you may have felt like you were, you were alone. Um, and many of my Leos, maybe you have been single and on your own, just doing your own thing, healing. If you've, if this was like a major separation for you, um, for others of you, I'm picking up, you were like on some, in some sort of shadow career or in a career where you really weren't able to express your creativity and your drive and your passion the way that you wanted to. And we see Prince of Wands, look at you. This is your energy, you're ready. This is that belief in self. This is that, you know, that base and the solar plexus chakras are vibing super high. Again, he's on, look, he's got a lion in front of him, Leo. Look at that, I mean, coming out of the cold, doing things your way. And the Prince of Pentacles, yeah, you're ready. And what I love about this is we see the sort of progression here. Um, you know, we see these princesses and then we get to these knights and these princes. So what I'm seeing in this reading is this lovely transformation and progression, Leo, um, into a very stable place, a place where you're supposed to be, where your gifts and your talents are recognized and cultivated. Um, and so we have, you know, coming towards you or around you or, you know, the seven of wands in reverse. There may be a particular person or situation that pushed you away. Okay, seven of wands in reverse because they had their own sort of agenda or, you know, they were very 3D oriented or very much so an ego energy. I feel that this is going to be a situation where somebody's going to really regret not supporting you. Um, Leo, because you are going to be in the six of wands energy. Yep. There's somebody here who, wow, ace of pentacles. Be careful because there may be somebody who wants to come back around Leo and pretend like they're your best friend now, or they might want to, I don't know, try to stake some sort of claim in, in your success. Um, and for some of you, it is like a love relationship where somebody who was very in and out of your connection kind of pushed you away. But now that they see you thriving and moving on, they're coming back in and wanting to make you a new offer. Um, I feel like, you know, the queen of wands energy, maybe it's another fire sign or they're being sort of pushed forward by this Aries energy, but it feels really impulsive. And I really want you to take that with a grain of salt because I feel with your Oracle cards that came out already, Leo spirit saying there's something totally new and different that you're stepping into that you're moving towards. And this really needs to be honored. And it doesn't mean you can't take elements of the old, or you can't hold on to some of your old friends and be close to family members as you go through this sort of ascension and awakening and awakening and sort of timeline jump but there is somebody or something in particular in the past that spirit's telling you it's time to sort of leave behind so in the emotional body you're ready you've got victory on your mind and this is why you're calling it in you're restless you've been doing the healing work you've peeled back those layers you've been doing the shadow work and the star card, see, this is what I was picking up on that Aquarius energy. A lot of my Leos, you're not exactly sure what the path looks looks like forward, but the beauty of is it of it is that you are believing in it. And even if you can't see the way forward, you know that you're on the right path because it feels like you're really trusting your heart. You're in alignment here, body, mind, and spirit. You know that you've got to make this change and you're ready for it. And that's totally okay if you don't know what the outcome looks like, but you know what it feels like. And that's victory and it's success. And the final outcome energy here is the Four of Cups in reverse, so you're not going to miss any opportunities here. I think, my Leos, you're ready to make sure you don't miss any opportunities. 
And with it, with the Four of Cups in reverse taking us back to the Three of Cups, there's some sort of beautiful celebration. Something here that you're going to be celebrating can also be a reunion. Yep, your decision, Two of Pentacles, what you've got in the mental body, this decision is going to bring you happiness. It's going to bring you joy. It's going to bring you success. And the Eight of Wands, but Spirit's telling you, you are going to have to defend your energy because I do feel that there are certain things from the past that are going to want to hold you back or hold on to you, or maybe you kind of are still holding on to, but don't let that, don't let that get in your way. I also feel like it's not going to be without its challenges because whenever there's change, there are always difficulties, but keep your eye on the prize. You will be, you, you it's like there's this huge victory coming to you by making this change, Leo and the six of swords. There's also peace, harmony, and leaving the difficult times in the past. The eight of wands in reverse is also a reminder, Leo's, that you, you don't want to focus so much you know, it's more about the journey than the outcome, right? We know, I know we hear that quite frequently, but also make sure that you build in rest periods for yourself. You celebrate small successes because remember, it's not necessarily a race. It's a marathon and this transit is going to be, you know, over the next year. Um, so, you know, we have some time, so we don't, and a couple times throughout this reading at the bottom of the deck, I saw like the temperance energy in reverse. So it's like not about rushing into things. It's not about having to make things happen like yesterday. It's about being aware and being prepared, but know that this beautiful change and the success is coming. Okay, and it's coming, it's coming. So allow it to happen and allow it to happen in divine order and in divine timing, but meet spirit halfway. All right. So let's see what additional messages spirit has for my Leos. So we get white, lighten up. Yeah, some of my Leos, things are going to get a lot more clear for you. I'm also seeing like you've been bearing, you've been bearing or carrying quite a heavy load all right and wow connect to the divine so you know it's interesting i was kind of getting this this blocked crown chakra energy from you and some of my leos um you know this can be that seemingly constant drama in your life that you're leaving behind you're healing you're recognizing you know what um you know, it's not my circus, not my monkeys, not my circus, not my monkeys. And, you know, I do feel that there was an inability to see beyond your sort of own small corner of the world. But what this transit is doing is it's giving us that oomph again to get back out there. Um, yeah, and I just, I love this. And seeing like creative solutions to any sort of problems that we may have or roadblocks that show up. Brilliance. Discover your sparkle. So Leo's you're, you are going to let, you're turning that heart light on. You're letting your full brilliance, you're letting your shine shine. You're turning on that light and coral. Allow flow and synchronicity into your life. So we get this energy of allowance. Allow things to happen. Step into the flow. Remember with this eight of wands energy in reverse, you don't have to, you don't have to control the outcome the outcome is already assured. So enjoy the journey, enjoy the steps, enjoy the process. And gray, so learn to scan your body. So again, making sure that you're doing, um, especially those of my Leos um, who do any energy work and those of you that don't, make sure that you're keeping up with your daily practice, meditation, Reiki, prayer, affirmations, whatever that is, it's gonna be really important for you to sort of stay earthed and stay grounded um, during this time of change because you know change is upheaval and it's never super easy even if it's welcomed right so let's go ahead and see what additional messages come through for my leos please clear messages and guidance yeah a circumstance has come to the surface and must be addressed yeah it's we can no longer toe the line here leo it's time to shift or to change up the status quo and seeker yeah Yearning for knowledge, you are a student of life with a strong curiosity for deeper meaning. Yeah, I, I do. I feel like this is, you've achieved some sort of wisdom. It's like maturity is like knowing when wisdom has been achieved, learning is necessary. And that's, that's this page of pentacles energy I'm picking up on here, which is, you know what? I'm actually ready. I've outgrown a relationship, a circumstance, a situation, or just a way of being. I'm ready. I'm ready for shift. I'm ready for change. And look at my Leos. Find your tribe. 
or I should rather say find your pride because that's the collective noun for, for lions, but seek out friendships and romantic partners who contribute to your soul's growth. Those who deplete you will keep you stagnant and that's what you're leaving behind. This is what you're moving towards. And we get soul connection. And for many of my Leos, again, it is leaving behind healing from heartache and loss. You're connected with someone who will play a significant role in your soul's evolution. And recognizing this past relationship or group of people or situation, they have played a really big part in your soul's evolution. They were necessary to sort of help you appreciate what it is that's coming towards you. And they were necessary. They were necessary for that part of your journey. And so whether short or long term, this person is important to your journey. But I also feel many of you, you have somebody coming towards you that's going to be um, very, very special here, Leo. And I love that. And it doesn't have to be a romantic partner. You know, some of you, it's meeting like a new friend. Um, others, it's like, you know, a, like a healer or like a guru, um, you know, or somebody like a teacher is what I mean by that. Um, let's see. Clear messages and guidance, please, for my Leos. And I love this because we get the, the energy of the five of pentacles coming out. Many of my Leos, it's like you weren't maybe in the right place, in the right job, in the right relationships. And that's okay. You learned a lot from that. But all of that's about to shift and change. And we see be here now. So spirit wants you to stay present. Again, make sure you're scanning your body. Okay. Um, but also make sure that you're doing your prayers, your meditations, your daily practice. Tra turn knowledge into wisdom. There's that transmutation that we're getting in this reading. Be loyal to what you love and first and foremost, Leo, to yourselves. I also feel you are more loyal to a person or a group or a job or a situation than, than maybe you should have been. And, and maybe I'm not saying that you should have acted or behaved any differently. Um, I just feel like you were more loyal than whom you were dealing with. And trust in divine detours, absolutely. So there's number 16, tower moment coming in. Um, all of this has happened for a reason. Remember, spirit has a plan and spirit has got your back. And look at this, take the lead, stag spirit. So Jupiter and Aries is all about taking the lead. No one's better at doing that than my Leos out there. So embrace this change. You have beautiful things coming to you. All right, I'm going to leave it here, sending you so much love and light. If these messages resonate, I'm going to ask that you hit that like button, you share and subscribe. Also check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. All right, Leos, love and light. Take care.